Thanks to new information from the National Enquirer, the Ed Henry affair scandal now has new details, and Fox News has chosen to weigh in as he decides to take a leave of absence. Uh, Ed Henry, of course, formerly of CNN, works for Fox News, had been covering the Clinton campaign, political correspondent, political reporter, um, and all of that. Now the information comes out from the Enquirer, who says, uh, this is in addition to the previous work of In Touch magazine, which was one of the original sources. Uh, they disclosed that Henry had carried on an alleged 10-month affair with a Las, Las Vegas hostess, in this source called a hostess. I've heard other uh, professions. The 44-year-old Henry has been married to NPR deputy uh, Washington editor Shirley Hung since 2010. The indiscretions are both sexual and professional, as the hostess alleged that Henry had offered her a trip to a Trump resort, though he never came through on the offer. Did it have to be a Trump resort? And so in response, Fox News put out a statement saying, we recently became aware of Ed's personal issues, and he's taking some time off to work things out. Roger Ailes, in particular, chairman and CEO of Fox News, saying, this raises serious questions about Ed's lack of judgment, especially given his position as a journalist. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, defend Ed Henry here, even though, uh, let me be clear up front, I am no fan of Ed Henry. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I didn't love his... Um, establishment non watchdogness uh, at <laughs> CNN uh, and then he went over to Fox News and only got worse so uh, I got no love for Ed Henry uh, hunt like some strippers in Vegas apparently no that's not right okay and by the way John mentioned another profession I don't want you to get the wrong idea that she's a hooker from what we understand no that's not it yeah, yeah I okay. heard stripper but so we the heard sources stripper, I've read only say hostess. Hostess. okay all right now, this is a curious defense of Ed Henry so far. <laughs> okay, but so let me get to it. Uh, it. It is none of our business, man. Yeah. He, I don't care what she is. I don't, that's not a, uh, that doesn't pertain to his job at all, at all. Why are we having this conversation? Uh, like, look, In Touch wants to sell more magazines, and they decide they're going to out this guy as having an affair. N nothing you could do about that. Mm. I get it. Uh, you know, I wish they wouldn't do it. Because it just it has no news value whatsoever, except that we all live in a soap opera now. And if you're even vaguely famous, congratulations, you're part of the soap opera, yeah. and it's open season on you, if right? You're a little bit famous, keep it in your pants. That's yeah, basically, because they're coming for you. Well, in a couple of weeks. Okay. Anyway, um, so, but to me, the real problem is Fox News giving a damn, and it's it, or at least appearing to give a damn. Yeah. Because they are conservatives, after all, they generally just say that they don't like affairs. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. There's something else here. Because remember, their main star, Bill O'Reilly, had a giant affair that was very, very public with the rubbing the, the phone falafel. sex and the rubbing the loofah that turned into a falafel on him. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, unsavory to say the least, right? Yeah. But they, him, they were like, "Yes, go get him, Bill. Here's an extra falafel sandwich for you." Right. <laughs> so. Um, there's something afoot here as to why they're doing this to Ed Henry, but it ain't right mm -hmm. because it does not affect his job at all. He's not a politician. I don't even care if he's a hypocrite. They're on Fox News. They're almost all hypocrites, yeah. right? I don't care about that. That's not pertinent to what he's doing. As long as he's doing his job well, his personal life should be his own. So it's it's outrageous that they're he's off the air and now. They're considering whether they should fire him or not. Yeah. He, look, here's what should have happened. Probably his wife probably should have divorced him when she found out. And that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. And that's between them. We don't know uh, yeah, really their relationship, care. right? And so, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know this. There's um, uh, oftentimes when you uh, go on TV for a job like this, they make you sign a morals clause. I know. I saw that, and I think that that's the weirdest thing. It is. It's, it's so super unnatural weird. that the only exposure I have to the concept comes from the show newsroom, mm -hmm. because they had that in there as well. Because of the whole drug thing. It's so weird. Who the fuck are you to say that you can fire someone if, oh, you've, mm, you've gone against my morals? Yeah. So I believe I signed one at MSNBC, okay? At first I was like repulsed by it. I'm like, I don't want, who are you to judge my morals? I'm not having this conversation. And then they're like, here's our offer. I was like, okay, fine. Where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> so, I jump in. <laughs> right. And part of the reason that they all sign and they don't question it is because there's a lot of money involved in TV. Yeah. So keeping it real, right? Um, but it, 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 but it is twisted. So, like for example, so I run the Young Turks, right? Can you imagine if I'm like, all right, now I'm, I'm going to need to know your personal life, John. Who mm -hmm. are you sleeping with, and who else are you sleeping with? Because if I don't approve, 
I got a morals clause in there, and I'm going to judge you, and then what in the okay, world? Okay, I'll show you pictures. Okay. I mean, it's one thing. I mean, it's not one thing if I ask you, but can you imagine if we're at, I'm asking all the women in the office who they're sleeping with? Right? How pervy oh, and they weird. They were pissed that one time. Oh. <laughs> Rightfully so, so. So here's the only way that it could be relevant, right? So um, you, there's an inter-office relationship that could be relevant, okay? Uh, or you've got a TYT shirt on and you're punching people in the face <laughs> and going, I, "I am doing this on behalf of the Young Turks." Want to seek the? Or it's the <laughs> only thing I'm wearing while I'm streaking. <laughs> right. That probably is no big deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good, any publicity? Yeah. <laughs> If you're hurting other people and pretending to do it on behalf of the yeah. Young Turks, then okay, then there's a morality issue. Or, I mean, as we've often said, mm -hmm. look, it isn't it doesn't even necessarily a hundred percent matter in this case, but there are cases in which if he's a politician who's specifically pro-family values and is attacking other people for their lifestyle, then in many cases I personally feel like it's it's fine to reveal that. Not because it says about them what they say it says about other people, because, but because it shows the hypocrisy. Yes. And it shows that you can't trust them. There are some people on Fox who are not reporters. They're, they're just pundits. They're just blowhards that like to judge people and attack people. Oh, like Bill O'Reilly. Exactly. They also blow hard. Um, if they're doing stuff behind the scenes, and again, it showcases their hypocrisy and undercuts their core argument on why they should be allowed to judge people that they don't like, then I think it's fine to reveal it. It still makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Which is why, and, and look, in this case, they, the, people are spreading around the, the, the instant messages that they sent to each other and the pictures and all that. We feel no need to actually show those. Uh, they're kind of hot, I guess. Um, but that's private, totally yeah. private. Now, there's no, there's no news value in it whatsoever. So again, I think John makes a very good distinction. And I've talked about Bill O'Reilly's divorce in the context of him, when he does a segment and he says, where are the fathers? And here's what's wrong with black culture, right? Yeah. And then you see in the divorce proceedings that uh, his kids were really upset with him because they thought he was an absentee father. Well, then don't go on TV and tell him, ask me the question about where are the fathers to black people, okay? Yeah. So that is an example of hypocrisy that makes sense to point out. If you're a White House correspondent like Ed Henry is, <laughs> where's the relevance? There's no relevance at all, so yeah. get off his ass. Exactly. He's already got someone there. I'm kidding. We cannot confirm <laughs> specifically anything ass related. Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't know. I did not mean to make a reference to ass play. <laughs> but look. But we also can't help it. Apparently so. In the end, though, Ed Henry, not guilty.